When someone mentions the letters P and B, I'm sure a lot of you instinctively think of PB and J sandwiches. But when a chemist is talking to you about PB, they're not asking if you want smooth or crunchy. They're talking about plumbum, or as we know it today, lead. You might think that the pencil you're chewing on in class is lead because, well, the name lead is kind of misleading. Well, it's actually made of the carbon-based graphite, which was previously known as black lead or plumbago. So that's why we call it lead today. Unlike current times, lead was commonly used in a range of applications, including things like cosmetics. And during the 16th century, well, keeping up with those fashion trends meant having ghostly white skin to show that you didn't need to work outdoors. But not everyone had this luxury, so they mocked this using a cream called Venetian Ceruse. But this brilliantly white cream is made from lead. And, well, lead really isn't known for being white. Quite the opposite. So how did they make this cream? Well, they made lead carbonate by corroding metallic lead with vinegar and covering this in decaying dung and tanner's bark for several weeks. And then this lead would eventually turn white. They applied this, what I'm assuming was a very noxious smelling cream, across their face until they were the picture of beauty. And the only real drawback was that it would eat away at their skin, affect their memory, affect their ability to think, and then eventually lead to premature death. Nowadays, we're far more aware of the negative effects of lead, but you'll still find it used in batteries and protective coats for radiographers, just thankfully not in our makeup. I'm all about looking good, but it's pretty strange dying in the name of vanity.